JavaScript was one of the first languages I used. In fact, it was the first language, the first scripting language I would say I used. And it has since been then one of the most integral parts of my life. The language of the decade is the JavaScript. Now, JavaScript has been evolving since the mid 2015 around that time and it has gained so much new features so much popularity that i really want to dedicate this thing this video to just javascript in december 2009 es5 was released which was basically the set mark for javascript on the way forward since then javascript has never looked back and has been progressing rapidly and adding more and more features improving the code improving the javascript engines improving how performant efficient javascript actually is june 2015 six years down the line es6 was released and at this was the time when things started getting serious the wave of javascript actually emerged there were frameworks in the wild react was there angular was there but you know they were still exploring the thing they were still exploring the field how the developer community is how things are going on but this was the time you know 2015 was the time when javascript actually started picking up really really fast 2016 2017 18 19 passed and passed by and every year there was a new version of javascript released a new standard of javascript being implemented which included more and more awesome features async await generators all that good stuff in javascript improving the browser apis improving the support in general improving the compatibility improving the performance everything so on and so forth in every new release javascript now at the moment can run on browsers servers desktops mobile apps embedded hardware cli utilities and anything you can imagine it's pretty powerful stuff which javascript can do and i do not think that there's any other language which can do the same thing all at once which javascript does right and if there is a language which does that we can just restrict that out from the browsers because hey that is like the javascript exclusive zone right there's no one allowed to enter in the browsers except javascript so you win there now there would be controversies uh if something gets popular you know there have been uh people who have been complaining about what's wrong with javascript but however this code just straights out the situation really soon and really quickly uh, there are only two kinds of languages the ones people complain about and the ones nobody uses so we have seen in the past people complain about javascript a lot and by a lot i mean like a really really a lot but it does not really matter right because javascript at the end of the day is winning people who love javascript know why they love javascript and people who hate javascript don't really know what javascript is that is the point well javascript is on the web just like we discussed we have some beautiful frameworks like react we have Vue, we have angular we have all this good stuff you can pick up anything you like and start working with it we have Svelte as well, right? You can just work with anything you want. JavaScript for the mobile part is beautifully implemented using React Native. We have Native Script. We have Ionic. We have all these beautiful frameworks, right? On elsewhere, like on the server or on the CLI, we have various kinds of tools. We have Node, obviously, to begin with, which is a runtime itself. And yeah, basically I think of Node as the as the escape rocket which JavaScript needed to escape the browser planet, right? So so Node was the rocket which JavaScript used to escape the planet of browser, like just being remain in the browser. Node helped JavaScript explore other dimensions. We have Electron for desktop applications, we have Node GUI as well. We have Low.js frameworks, libraries like these for embedded systems. And we have other tools like the OpenCLI framework and so on and so forth for CLI tools. And there are many more use cases for JavaScript. JavaScript community is actually very, 
very good, very strong. You're gonna find a lot of support from a lot of sites. For example, you can see on Stack Overflow, you have over just under 2 million questions for JavaScript. And um, from the trend, you can see that there's a new question on Stack Overflow every two to three minutes for JavaScript part, right? So the community support is strong, the community interaction is strong, and you're gonna get a lot of you know, content for JavaScript as well. From Reddit, from, you know, forms like Learn JavaScript and JavaScript. These are some awesome forms on Reddit. For YouTube, you can also get support from like all these wonderful videos and series and everything. You have so much content for JavaScript available on your tips. Um, for Google as well, obviously, uh, you can just go ahead and Google everything. You're gonna get that. So yeah. This community is pretty good for JavaScript and it has developed matured over this decade by a lot. Well, at the end, we can just agree that JavaScript is actually everywhere if you like it or not, but JavaScript is becoming the future, right? It is entering machine learning, it is entering, you know, servers, it's entering web, it is entering mobile devices, all that good stuff. So JavaScript is technically everywhere and that's all we all love javascript that is why we are here that is why you are watching this video that is why i am creating this video yeah i mean javascript is beautiful that's all i want to say and uh, it truly deserves the decade of the language tag to it so yep that's all for this video and i'll see you then in the next one